topic I wanted to speak about. This is regarding um, BGL and his apparent boner for Kalila, which is really strange. Really, really strange. As you guys know, Brendan had a little bit of a tiff with Kalila. What was it? It felt like a year ago. I don't know how long it was, but it was a lot of drama that happened in that stand up com comedy space. Essentially, it all started because Annie Liedman decided to share a story about somebody who was unnamed at the time, but people worked out was probably Brendan um, asking her if she wanted to walk him to his truck. And she obviously said no. And it went into a spiral, kind of talking about how shit of a comic he is and how she would never do that, blah, 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 which then spurned Kalila to be brave and to kind of share her story too. And it was like, you know, all these victims coming out and sharing their stories <laughs> of having pretty sketchy encounters with, with, with Big Brown, allegedly. And then um, Kalila shared her experience of like, you know, that he um, slid into her DMs, which was obviously super bad and super flipping horrible and really lame and disgusting all that sort of stuff because i don't think it gets stressed enough to be honest i mean brendan tried to fight kalila and she was with bobby lee at the time bobby lee is meant to be one of their friends bobby lee was also somebody that whenever his way to be really kind to brendan when he was doing comedy so it's just interesting that you know it doesn't get so spoken about often enough which makes me think just in general kind of going off that point no one really stresses that brendan tried to fuck kalila like you know like he tried to basically hook up with his friend's girlfriend normally says that a lot right they kind of talk about Kalila being inappropriate by sharing a story like it's all kind of like victim blaming type of stuff so I wonder is it because you know they're scared and it's Brendan and his friends with Joe Rogan or is it because there's this understanding in the scene and in the industry behind things behind the scenes blah de blah that Kalila is a bit of a slag what do you guys think do you think her, do you think that's the case that she might be a bit of a whore behind the scenes and that she's maybe hooked up with other comedians while she's been in a relationship with Bobby Lee? Hence why no one's really that what that kind of pissed off or that kind of annoyed that Brenda would do that, or is it because of his Joe Rogan association? I'm not too sure. But anyway, regardless, um, in all that kind of drama that happened around it, um, for some reason, some smart people on the fucking subreddit worked out that most likely somebody that played an instrumental part in it was bgl and he played a part in it because i think he was one of the first people to kind of go in um to flipping um go into kalila like attacking her as a person and stuff and saying she's just as bad as brendan kind of thing and she's not the victim she's penning out to be. because for the most part everyone was kind of sympathizing with kalila and saying how much of a horrible person brendan was so it was kind of like everyone against brendan and kind of kalila being the um the hero quote unquote of the story not really but you know what bad term to use but you kind of get what i mean and and uh bj was the first person to say no 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 she's not a hero she's actually a piece of shit but it's funny that he didn't say she's a piece of shit also it was more so like no she's the temptress she's the bad person here and he kind of just went kept going at it. and of course you know they worked it out i guess in some, didn't really work it out but they tried to where brendan went on the show tiger belly and it was really one of the most embarrassing podcasts I've seen in a long time incredibly cringe um it made him look really really dumb and if anything it kind of really solidified um Bobby's least position in that comedy scene in terms of people wanting to be his friend more so than Brendan's friend so that kind of was a bad bad move in that respect but for some reason BGL isn't giving this up mate he's still going out and attacking Kalila so randomly he decided to upload this Instagram story off the back of this documentary that I'm gonna watch later on in the stream that's been doing the rounds and he decided to kind of remind people that he was the first person to mention that Kalila might be a sociopath and in general that he didn't really you know buy into her being a victim or whatever it may be and I'm just curious like what is going on didn't they make up didn't they try to move on from this why is he still going at this woman like what is the deal can someone explain it to me because i'm absolutely confused i do not understand what's happening here um if anything that whole affair was probably one of the worst things to happen to brendan in general he shouldn't have you know what i mean like it, it, it probably ruined so much behind the scenes that we probably aren't aware of why is this guy um actively trying to stir up trouble again like just move on and keep it moving i said from the very beginning brendan should have never replied to the ladies when they mentioned their story anyway whether they're true or not he should have just kind of kept storm and just kept on keeping on but he tried to reply he tried to be funny he tried to be you know the big man and stuff and it kind of you know ended up kind of you know um it ended up kind of uh backfiring on him and now bgl for some reason now that he's got closer to brendan is like purposely like you know stirring the pot and trying to get things started again i don't know why he's doing this it's really really bizarre but let's read through the caption 
The captions from him on his Instagram account it says as follows: A few months ago, I stated this person is a narcissist, sociopath, sociopathetic. So it says sociopathetic in a reply comment on my own post. The people screenshotted and posted it all over Reddit, as if it was a wild accusation that reflected poorly on me. I got to know my first sociopath at age 16. <laughs> it's a story time, yeah? Okay, cool. And have significant interactions with a small handful since. What, does that include Brendan or not? That's what I want to know. I've never had an incorrect assessment of a sociopath it, um, and would only make a public accusation like this if I felt like I had sufficient information to make that claim accurately and also that it's in public. Oh, thank you, Mark. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for being that considerate. This guy's an absolute donor. Interested, um, interest to do so because it's not uh, obvious as yet uh, to everyone around that person. Watch these videos and tell me I was wrong with a winky face. Oh, hi, Kalila, with a link there. This guy's an absolute dweeb. Imagine being somebody's best friend in your late 40s. It's already strange anyway when people make like real friends like late in life, but imagine finding a best friend in your late 40s like imagine and then going this hard for them especially when they're in the wrong to begin with it's not even like this is like her coming out and making some unfounded rumor no he started it by fucking trying to dm her whilst whilst he was having dinner with his fucking family which is you know all kinds of awful which i mean imagine the kids are opening their presents and daddy's over there on his phone trying to get his fucking dick sucked and stuff it's a little bit crazy but this guy is really really lame i don't know what's going on what people are saying in chat here um it's so funny that he said he's never missed uh, the sociopath like he's some sort of professional exactly caleb the guy's an absolute spanner man top class spanner uche says listen to your listen if your views ever start to align with bgl's just know something is going horribly wrong with you exactly the guy's an absolute donut like a sociopathic narcissist like no one's looking for you for fucking psychological assessments on people in the space mate no one cares you know what i mean you shouldn't even you're, you're lucky you're even here in the first place like just just enjoy you enjoy your little job and just keep it moving what people are saying it hd said didn't bgl beat up a street performer for no reason i think he said it really it's easy did, 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 did. <laughs> that's actually a funny story he well, he beat up like a busker or something or one of those guys in you know in holly is it hollywood bolivar they got those dudes that dress up like one of them dresses up like the guy from um like the guy from uh, The Hangover or something. Is it The Hangover? Whatever his name is, right? That that comedian. Some of them would dress up as like Iron Man or Spider Man and stuff, and they're fucking annoying and they're shit as well. Um, so maybe he, if he beat up one of them ones, I'd give him, I'd give him a pat on the back for that. To be fair, because those guys are fucking annoying. <laughs> Honestly, BGO is so bizarre. And again, like I, I think some some people have said already. Um, in general no let me not say that i'm gonna say my point because my i've got a bit of a controversial point in this regards i think weirdly enough as much as i think bj is a fucking knob i think he's definitely a net positive to brendan i think he needs someone like that in his corner like an actual ride or die friend that's willing to back him up all the way even if we do his redacted ways and his dumb views and his you know nonsensical talking points like he needs that person in his corner because everyone else he's got on his on his kind of on his team he basically pays them to be his friends like even brian callan to some some extent they're not really ride or die do you know what i mean they're kind of like i think about it in this way i think if what happened to brian callahan happened to brendan would brian be going as hard for brent for brendan as brendan went for brian i don't think so I think he's quite loyal to a fault, Brendan, when it comes to people he really fucks with. So I think he actually needed a BGO in his life. He needed somebody to kind of ride with him for real. And the fact that BGO goes out of his way to kind of, you know, he kind of acts like he hasn't talked to Brendan before and he makes a point and he kind of goes out and attacks people. But clearly they speak about this sort of stuff and Brendan feels like he can't get away with saying certain things. So he kind of uses BGO as a route to kind of say the things he wish he could say. So that is one thing but on the other side of things also i think this is really a bad look because this will end up kind of really blowing up in his face like this guy might get brendan in big trouble like really because he's like like i said he's in his 40s he's just finally only now kind of got some modicum of success in his career especially in hollywood which i know is difficult to do but he's only attained it now and only because of brendan's charity and the fact that he doesn't really have any real friends anyway so he was happy to have somebody come along who's willing to carry his flipping boxes of pepsi and hand him flipping whiskey through bushes so that's one thing but he might get him in trouble man really really might get him in trouble he might put him in a position that's going to be untenable like if if they keep going at this because this is just 
doesn't make any sense. Like, this is over now. Everyone's moved on. Bobby and Kalala have even fucking broken up. And this guy's still going at her. Like, what? what's the deal here? And even if she, again, this is me saying this. Even if she is a whore. Let's imagine she is a whore and she sucked everybody's dick in the comedy scene. So what? Like, what What? what does it matter? Like, if you're if, if you're not the one that's that's receiving it, if you're not the one that's interested, why do you care? Like, I don't understand this. It's so bizarre. It really is. Um, he seems to have a real boner for us. He seems to have a real issue with it. Um, he's going at it too much. And for me, it kind of is clear that the way he's going at it obviously proves that whatever Kalala said was true. It definitely happened. Whatever happened, the texts, the DMs, that definitely happened. One hundred percent. I don't. I don't deny it. Because if somebody was chatting shit about your friend, you wouldn't go this hard if you know it was. It wasn't real. It wasn't true. You just kind of keep it moving. Maybe you throw a few subliminals here and there, but you wouldn't keep attacking them and posting them and doing these really cringy things like "Oh hi, Kalila," and this fucking link thing. Like this guy's a fucking dork, absolute dork. Like big and muscular for absolutely nothing. Really nothing. And it's such a shame. Because I think in general, there's a lot of kind of like, um, there's a lot of, uh, what's that word called? There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of like uh, frustration probably in his side of things, right? Because he's got this unique look, this big, crazy man, like, you know, head of hair, this muscular frame and shit. He should be doing something with it, right? He should be in movies. He should be in TV series. He should be acting in telenovelas, something, right? He should be doing something with whatever, with what, how he's crafted himself and how he's been able to build his body up in that way. But for whatever reason, Hollywood just doesn't care about him. It hasn't worked out the way it should have worked out. I've seen some people post some clips of him being extra behind the scenes. No, yeah, being extra in the background for like Kirby or Fusem or something random. But so far, that's it. And the only person that's actually given him a real leg up and a real opportunity to kind of restart his kind of content creator, influencer, you know, um, popular figure type or public figure type um, career has been Brendan. So it's no surprise that he's like, you know, joking him so hard. But this guy needs to chill, really needs to chill because he's going to get Brendan in big trouble if he doesn't keep up with it. And also, Brendan also, if he keeps flipping fucking this guy, it might end up bad for him in general. So he needs to relax too. Everyone just needs to relax. Please relax. Everyone just relax and take it easy. Have a deep breath. It's not that deep. Like she just mentioned this mad uh, minor story of you trying to get into her DMs. People do that all the time. Let's relax. Um, Kevin Spencer saying BGL's look is so cringe. Stupid hair, stupid facial hair, and no idea how to dress himself. All the TF crew sum him up. Um, has him up like he's Brad Pitt. So bizarre. Yeah, yeah, they, but they do it all the time, don't they? they, they it's like that whole. They, but to be fair, it's a, it's, it seems like a comedian thing. It's like when they say murderers and stuff, and this guy's the great. Like everyone, everyone's either somebody they don't know or the greatest guy. There's no middle ground. Oh yeah, no, I, I don't know him. I've never met him. Or oh, he's the greatest guy, the greatest, the best guy, the best guy. It's like it's just a stand. Maybe it's an LA thing. Maybe it's a comedy thing. I don't know. They do it all the time. So it's not surprised that they're gonna be like, oh, he looks like a fucking male model or something, which he doesn't. Do you know what I mean? He just looks very bizarre. But you know, like I said, I think there's a lot of um, inner frustration there that that whole bizarre look didn't really pop off for him. Or work in any kind of meaningful way but i don't get this weird attacking of kalila it's really really strange um and i've said that already before myself i don't really understand the whole like kalila boner that people have anyway okay she might be a bit of a bitch i guess she might have a i don't know i, I don't see this thing of like she's just this like mastermind or something people are i don't know there's a lot of incel energy i feel like with that sort of stuff it's giving incel it really is that this one woman could be like responsible for bringing down the entire fucking comedy scene it's like what are you for real and it's not even the entire comedy scene it's just a couple of people do you know what i mean that that happen to be in her vicinity i think people need to actually relax or maybe she looks like somebody that all these guys kind of remember like some girl they used to have a crush on back in high school that kind of you know gave them the cold shoulder i don't know what it is but the, the boner that these people used to have think think the bone that these people have for Kalila is very strange. I don't get it in the flipping slightest. Um, but hey, maybe I mean the maybe it's me and not anybody else. So what are people saying in here in chat? 